wind the clock back 30 years and look at stand-up comedy. Lots of dumb blonde jokes, cracks about gays, rambling bits about this new flock of seagulls band. Of course, you can still find all of that on stage in places like South Dakota, the land that time forgot, but the rest of the world has moved on. And so it is that we turn a kinder, wiser eye to pop culture of the past and go, holy shit. We really thought that was okay. Five. American Pie, a movie that spawned seven sequels despite the fact that nobody saw any of them, is about four dudes who pledged to lose their virginity before they graduate high school. At the risk of spoiling it for you, Shenanigans ensue. The nerdy Jim manages to attract the attention of exchange, student Nadia. Naturally, his buddies convince him to set up a webcam, so they can watch him get laid, because in 1999 only weirdos watched internet porn, while real men asserted their heterosexuality by watching their closest friends get boners. Jim agrees, because that is the law of shenanigans. But instead of emailing the webcam link only to his friends, Jim accidentally sends a mass email to his entire school. Oh, no. Hundreds of people get to see Nadia get naked without her consent, rather than just a few intended guys which would have somehow been okay. What? Nadia's parents force her to return home as punishment for accidentally becoming an amateur porn star. It's the girl's fault. Of course, always the girl. And while Jim is initially mocked for premature ejaculation, another girl soon agrees to date him, because the video convinced her that getting in his pants would be a sure thing. Lesson Learned? For Heathers was a dark high school comedy, about when a writer's Veronica befriending cool outsider, Christian Slater's JD, only to realize that he is in fact a homicidal lunatic. Slater murdered three students, before attempting to blow the whole place up, and finally committing suicide via bomb vest. You can probably see why this film didn't age well as a comedy, but aged fantastically as a grim portent of the dark future to come. Three. Bad News Bears is the story of Morris Buttermaker, an alcoholic former baseball player, who's recruited to coach a team of incompetent misfits. If you guess that what they really win is a valuable, life lesson, step forward and claim your prize. Bears came out in 1976 and was rated PG. We get that the whole joke is, how inappropriate both Buttermaker and his kids are. But put their antics in a modern film and you get less of an oh, those uncouth children with their hearts of gold comedy and more of a we need to step in and do something about this horrible epidemic affecting our children think peace. Two. 1978's Pretty Baby is the coming of age story of the 12 year old Violet. It's set in 1917, Violet lives at a brothel with her prostitute mother, has her virginity auctioned off by the cocaine-sniffing madam, and marries a creepy photographer, three times her age, whom she met because he likes to take pictures of the prostitutes. It gets even worse when Violet escapes to live with the photographer because the movie portrays it is her seducing him, as opposed to, you know, a grown man abusing a little girl. But don't worry, he knows she's still a kid. One. Sixteen Candles is about the timeless teenage practice of pining over an unrequited love while also having to beat off the advances of a creepy nerd. And it is a parade of atrocities that we hope no modern teen ever has to go through. Molly Ringwald Sam basically gets molested by her grandparents, no amount of romantic success can make the line aw, no more Yankee my wonky, not sound like it came from a World War II propaganda movie, shown to American soldiers moments before, 
they had to go storm a Japanese island. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when I put out new videos.